Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here, and you guys already know Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon has been announced for the 3DS exclusively, and it's coming out in the fall. And you know, a lot of people are happy about it. I'm happy about it. I'm definitely ready for these games uh, because I've been burnt out on Pokemon for a while. You guys know this, and uh, like I've said it multiple times, I've just been completely burnt out. But I'm very, very excited for these games. I'm very excited for Pokin coming to the Switch because we've been wanting Pokin to come to the Switch with all the new characters, and we got Decidueye as well. So that's really dope. But there are people who are unhappy that we didn't get a main title game on the Nintendo Switch. And I just want to sit here and talk about that for a second because I I had a whole Twitter rant about it uh, the day we all got the the announcement or whatever, which was what, June 6th or whatever. So I like I ranted about it and I was like, why are people 100% expecting a new game on the Switch? Or or why were people expecting a main title game on the Switch this year? early it doesn't make any sense to me and why are people so mad that ultra sun and ultra moon are not on the switch like, that, that doesn't make any sense to me like when has game freak ever switched consoles in the middle of a generation never they never done that okay whenever black and white came out on a ds black two white two was on the ds whenever uh what whenever gold and silver came out on game boy color pokemon crystal was on game boy color they never switched systems in the middle of a generation and so i don't know why people thought that pokemon ultra sun ultra moon would be on the uh, nintendo switch or why they actually want the game on nintendo switch it, do it doesn't make any sense like i understand like from a i guess uh i guess a consumer point of view or whatever uh, it's like well we got this new system here that is basically a handheld so let's go ahead and put let's go ahead and push this system out and let's go ahead and let the 3ds or whatever die off but that doesn't make any sense though because the 3ds is not dead at all it's like people just completely forgot about the fact that they just announced the new 2ds system so and then not only that but we also got what a fire emblem game that just came out on the 3ds as well so the fact that the fact that people actually think the 3ds is dead and that we should be moving over to the switch now makes no sense to me whatsoever not only that but the switch was not made to replace the 3ds okay the switch was made to replace the wii u it was not made to replace the 3ds at all okay the 3ds is literally their front running system at the moment okay 3ds is performing exceptionally well why in the world would they want to leave that behind to go to the switch to go to a game system or a console that is very very hard to come by at least you know here in the states or whatever it's pretty darn hard to get a switch okay why would they do that that makes absolutely no sense so the fact that people want ultra sun and ultra moon on the switch and not on the 3ds and they want to push the 3ds away makes no sense okay like again the 3ds is not dead and the switch was not made to replace the 3ds the switch was made to replace the wii u you know when a system is dying when they stop making games for the system okay we saw we physically saw the wii u die the wii u i think the wii u stop production i want to say i want i think they stopped production or they stopped production for the wii one or the other they stopped production and the wii u is dead okay we know this we've seen it we haven't seen any games come out for the wii u at all for a long while and so that system is gone we see we saw the death of it so you know when a system is dead 3ds is still cranking out games like every like couple of months or whatever okay the 3DS is very much alive, and if the 3DS wasn't alive at all, they wouldn't be making a new 2DS for people either. So I, it just baffles me that people are so angry that Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon won't be coming to the Switch. Like again, they never switched uh, systems in the middle of a generation. Now, if we got Generation 8 on the Switch, like I wouldn't be mad about it, but it would be like a really a really weird move because it's one of those things where. The 3DS and 2DS are very, very, very affordable, okay, you guys? The 3DS has been out for many, many years, and you can get a used one for very cheap, okay? And they're very, they're pretty easy to come by, too. Even if they sell out in storage, you can find a used one somewhere for a very good price. And they're just super easy and super affordable. And, you know, that's Nintendo's whole handheld shtick and everything. It's, there, it's, it's affordable, and it's easy to get. 
a Nintendo Switch is not easy to get and is not so affordable, okay? Like, it's $300, and then on top of that, a game is about like $60 if you're talking about a really, really good game. Uh, kind of like, you know, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or whatever. You're talking about like $60 for a game. So, I don't know why people thought that Game Freak would sit here and make the move to push the Nintendo Switch and just leave the 3DS behind when the 3DS is more affordable than the Nintendo Switch. And then not only that, but Sun and Moon were already on the 3DS, so a lot of people already own a 3DS system. Why would they just migrate away from the 3DS when most people bought a 3DS for Sun and Moon in the first place? They already have the system, just make the sequels for that same system and just keep it there. Boom, That that that's, that's literally it. Like, People were talking about, oh, well, if they want to maximize their revenue, they can push it to the Switch and have Nintendo ramp up production of the Switch. It's like, that's cool and all, that's great and all, but how many people out there are going to actually be able to afford that, though? <laughs> you know? Like, how many people are going to actually be able to afford to get a Switch over a DS or a 3DS or a 2DS or whatever? Like, like I don't know. It just make, it makes no sense to me. A, 3D, a 3DS is about, like... 100, 120, 130, 150, something like that. Maybe somewhere around that ballpark. Probably lower, way lower than 150 at this point in time anyway. But 3DSs are fairly cheap compared to a Switch. And not only that, but what? Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, it's gonna cost you 40 bucks, maybe 80 bucks for both, whatever. That's still cheaper than getting a Switch, just a Switch alone. And people are saying, oh yeah, well this is going to push the Switch. The Switch doesn't even need a push, okay? The Switch has plenty of system sellers, okay? Zelda, Breath of the Wild, that's a system seller. It, like, alone, that was, a, that was what, like one of the only like super mega good titles that actually came out for the Switch when the Switch came out, okay? And I know it's a system seller because I bought the system and Zelda and I don't even play Zelda. Okay, that was like my first Zelda game that I ever completed in my life. The only other game that I've played from Zelda was Twilight Princess and I never even I never even beat it. So I know Breath of the Wild is a system seller, okay? And it's still a very, very, very good game and a very much played game, okay? Then you have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. You know, everybody loves Mario Kart 8. Then we have ARMS that's coming out. We have Splatoon that's coming out. We have Sonic Forces that's coming out. We have uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Do you really think the Switch needs any kind of push at this point in time? Like, don't get me wrong. Pokemon does sell systems. Pokemon sells systems like hotcakes. I, I know this, I, I've seen this, okay? Pokemon sells 3DSs like mad, handhelds like mad. But I just, I don't think the Switch needs a push right now, okay? And I still think it's very, very early for a Pokemon Switch game that is like Colosseum or XD Gale of Darkness, whatever. I think it's still a little bit early because the Switch just came out and it takes a while to make games like these, you know? I would expect a game like Colosseum or whatever to come out on the Switch probably like late 2018, maybe early 2019, something like that, something in that ballpark. But I don't, I can't see it this year i can't see it this year I, again i can't see them migrating gen 7 from 3ds to the switch when the switch is not made to replace the 3ds it's just not and that's why i've been trying to like tell people you know i've been trying to tell people most people most of your average gamers whatever they have a 3ds or a 2ds and some of them, most of them, do not have a Switch. And again, a Switch is very hard to come by. So why would Game Freak put a main title game that is Generation 7 on the Switch when most of their market doesn't even have a Switch and most of their market already owns a 3DS or a 2DS? Okay, yeah, you, got, yeah, you got to think about where the money actually is. And the money is in the 3DS family, okay? It's, it's in the 3DS family. A lot of people are going to end up buying both games. And because more people own the 3DS over a Switch, uh, Game Freak is still going to make plenty of money. They're still going to make stupid amounts of money, you know? And, like, like again, like a Pokemon game on the Switch would be very, very cool. I'm, I'm all for it. But right now... Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon on the Switch? I can't see that. I, I just can't, I cannot see that happening right now. Okay, not only that, but because it's a two screen game, you're gonna have to find a way to uh, implement two screens on the Nintendo Switch. I have my Switch right here, okay? Look, look, I have my Switch right here, okay? 
if we're let me turn this off if we're trying to get oh you see me haha -ha. if we're trying to get two screens to fit on here it's just not gonna to me it's not gonna look good so they're gonna have to like like revamp the ui of the entire game or someone said oh well you can turn it this way and you can get two screens that way you could play it like this but this looks dumb <laughs> like who in the world is gonna play a switch like this no one's gonna play a switch like this what like i mean well maybe some people will play a switch like this but i will not play a switch like this this makes absolutely no sense because the whole point of a switch is to be able to like play it this way or you put it in your tv and you play it on your tv and like you're not gonna be able to play something like this on your tv like if it's if it's oriented this way so i mean you could put it this way but you're gonna have to shrink the size of the screens down so much, or you're gonna have to change the UI of the game drastically to the point where it's like, well, if you're gonna change the entire UI of the game, you might as well just make a brand new game that is not generation seven, or just wait until like gen eight or something, or just make a Coliseum-esque game uh, for the Switch or something like that. Like, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I've just been trying to like get people to understand that like moves game freak game freak makes very calculated moves okay with the exception of x and y i don't know why we never got a pokemon z pokemon xz yz pokemon x2 y2 i don't know why they decided to just shaft zygarde like that i have no idea whatever man but i've been trying to get people to just grasp the concept of the fact that a lot of people own or already they either already own or they can afford a 3ds and 2ds and the fact that not a lot of people have a switch and not a lot of people can afford a switch like that i've been trying to just get people to grasp that concept and it, it i don't know it's, it's really hard you know like people are disappointed that we didn't get gen 4 remakes and you know what that's perfectly fine because honestly with game freaks track record gen 4 remakes i mean well when it comes to when it comes to remakes remakes are usually uh like how, how do you want to say how do i want to say it how do I, how do I want to say it? Like they are, they're made. Uh, I guess if you double the number, then that's when you get the remake with the exception of gen one, I guess. So for example, gen two remakes came out in gen four, you know, two plus two is four, uh, gen three remakes came out in gen six. So gen four remakes should come out like gen eight. Right. But I still can see why people thought we were going to get Sinnoh, uh, Sinnoh remakes. I even thought we were going to get Sinnoh remakes just because like but the, uh, the time between X and Y and Oris was like a year. So it makes sense. So like, I'm not even I'm not even like on that. Like that's perfectly fine. If you're disappointed that we didn't get Sinnoh remakes, that's perfectly fine. And, I mean, if you're if you're sad that we didn't get a game on the Nintendo Switch as well, like that's fine. But you just have to understand why nintendo or why game freak made the move that they made that's all that's all i really want for people to understand that's all that's that's really about it at some point we will get a game a main maybe a a coliseum type game on the switch or whatever but as of right now i don't think that's happening like not not right not right this second we don't need it right this second okay ultra sun ultra moon coming to the 3ds exclusively in the fall that's i think that is going to be good enough for us that's going to hold us for a while uh or for a couple of months um possibly maybe depends on how much content they have in the game i have no idea how much content is in the game but all i know is that i just i just want people to understand why game freak made the moves that they made and why game freak didn't put a main title on the switch i hope people can understand that i already know the comments are gonna light up with you know some uh, some other stuff be like oh well jay they can ramp up production of the switch and they can do this and that and all this other stuff and it's like that's cool that's awesome that's great and all but you got to think about it from their point of view of hey where's the most money at right now and what is like what does the average consumer have or what can they afford right now average consumer can afford and get their hands on a 3ds and a 2ds much easier then a switch the switch just came out we don't need a game on the switch right now you can't find a switch anywhere anyway and you know moving a game that was previously on the 3ds to the switch in the middle of a generation makes no sense either so that you know there you go but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below hopefully you enjoyed this video oh man i already know this video is going to light up 
uh, with some uh, negative comments and people probably try to call me stupid. I don't know. I, nah, it's just gonna, oh boy, this is gonna be a uh, really rough video to upload. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. Uh, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. Peace.